All right. So uh, I'm 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 gonna, when, if I pause like at the beginning or at the end of a video or something. Basically, what I'm doing right there is I'm cutting. So right there, now we're in episode two of this. So yeah, <laughs> that's how I'm gonna cut these videos. But I'm not gonna be um I'm not gonna be like saying at the beginning of every episode, hey guys, it's Nick, aka the One Only Crisis YT. Even though I did do that, considering out there at the beginning of this one, because it is a live com series. Technically, you're supposed to be starting it from the beginning till the end. You know, I don't have to introduce myself at the beginning of every match. So yeah. But, um, did, did we just, like, lose, like, 20 seconds on the start or something like that? That was, I looked up, I looked down, looked up, and it was, it was over. But, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Um, okay. Are you sure to, I already have this unlocked. Um. Y yes? I don't know. What? I already have that gun unlocked. What are you doing to me, Crisis 2? Come on, now. Um, Yes? Why is this on my screen? What have I done? <laughs> I mean, really. It was like glitched on my screen. It was asking me if I wanted to unlock it, even though I already had it unlocked. I mean, I was using it last game. I mean, come on now. What are you doing to me here? And uh, I'm just going to kind of also be trying out weapons and I, as I rank up and stuff. Because I am just like a 13 or 14 now, maybe. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really low ranked. And this is a good reason for me to play this game for you guys. Because... I really don't have a reason to play it if I'm not doing a video on it. Like, Call of Duty, I'll play it just to play it. Like, just because I enjoy playing it. Minecraft, I'll play it just because I enjoy playing it. This stuff, you know, I really don't have a reason to play Crisis 2 because, as far as I know, I don't enjoy playing it that much. Like, I'm enjoying it right now because I just enjoy commentating. I enjoy making videos. But, like, normally this game seems like it screws me over. But since I'm commentating so far, it's not. Which this is just my second game, so it's crossed my fingers here. But, yeah, whoa, well, I've never... I have I've never played this map before, as far as I remember. Ever, yeah. And his map packs and stuff like that go. I don't have any of those. Uh, so so like I'm in the dark with maps. I'm I'm learning everything. I don't know. I don't know maps or anything. I'm so lost right now. I died and I don't even know like where I died from. All I know is I got shot from behind, tried to take cover, and then died. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a bad match. I do have the feeling that it will be. Okay, let's reload. Let's get up here. I'm just gonna try to try to do as best. I, why am I sideways? That's weird. Okay, is there a guy up here? Okay, yeah, there's a guy right over there. I see him. I see him. Uh, I think that guy's got him cut off. Uh, oh, I can't go prone. I can't go prone. <laughs> oh my god. I tried to go prone and turn around like as a Call of Duty instinct, you know, go prone and turn around so it's like a drop shot. And I, and I tried to do that here, and obviously... Whoa, look at that spawn. That was that was like a Call of Duty... That was like an MW3 spawn right there. Wow, that was terrible. But, um... Like, yeah, I tried to drop shot and go prone, and, and then I didn't work, and I was like, What? Why didn't I drop shot and go prone? Or go prone and turn around, or whatever. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, by the way, if I say something like that's like... Sure, I'm comparing it, but I'm not directly comparing it. I'm just saying, like, something like... You know, that spawn is... Like MW3 spawn. I'm not saying every spawn is. Why do people care if you compare games to another game? God, just some stuff that, like, I don't know. And I know that I offend people, and sometimes when I say this stuff, but I don't get why people care so much about someone comparing a game to another game. What do you compare it to then? Because comparison is how you judge things. Correct. I mean, that is the easiest way to to determine something. So if you don't, um. If you don't do it to something else, what are you going to use as a judgment? You know, I mean, really, come on now. That's that's the gist of that. And that's why I don't I don't care if you compare this game to Call of Duty. I don't care if you compare this game to Battlefield 3 or Halo or something like that. I don't care. I might disagree with it, but I'm not going to get pissed at you for it. I'm just going to tell you that I disagree with it. And that's another thing. What's with people being like, Oh my god, I can't believe unsub because you disagree with one of my opinions. It's like, so what? You don't like the fact that I like MW3, so you're gonna unsub me. It's like, what the fuck? It, okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't care to be honest about sub count. But the thing is, um, it's just kind of funny when I see people who are like, I'm unsubbing you for like the stupidest reason in the world. You know, I just think that's so funny. Uh, anyway, rant done there. I don't know. I'm doing terrible this game. I'm four and six. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm doing shit now. Um, death, he will die. God, man, you're, he was a brick house. 
That man was a brick house. He wouldn't die. I shot at him and Okay. Okay. That's fine. He wouldn't die. <laughs> is it this is a campy map, like right here. This is a map that promotes camping on quite a bit. Is there friendly fire on this game or something? Because I looked like I was hurting him. Where are these guys even, like, truly spawning at and whatnot? This is weird. Me no like this map. I can't, like, there are no patterns in it. It's so random. Like, and it's sideways, and it kind of makes my head hurt because it is sideways. Okay, where are these guys at? Oh, my God. See, armor, armor, armor. That's the stuff that used to make me mad on this game, too, besides connection, was the armor and, like, I know that you have to spam it, and I, you guys are probably like, Use your armor! And I know that I'm not using it, but it's just like, it's not something that I enjoy using. Like, right there, I feel like I should have lost that. The only reason I was able to win that battle was because I had armor. It's like, really, is that, sh that shouldn't matter. Like, at least on, like, here we go, comparing a game to another game that you guys will probably troll me for. But, um, like, for example... On Call of Duty, or even Halo, you don't have... Everybody has the same health. Armor changes that. Armor changes up that basic health, health you know, combination that the game was meant to be played on. And it... I, I don't know. I know this was originally for PC. I think... For, for PC, it seems like games that come from PC and go to console aren't that successful. And I think that... Minus Battlefield um, aren't that successful. And I think that the developers really need to look at that before they release a game for the console. Because it seems like these games also on PC, Crisis 2 isn't as big on PC as it is as it's Crisis 1 was. And I think it's because one of the main reasons is they went to console, so some of the PC guys left because of it. And I know that some PC guys really hate the fact that when games go to console, so they'll completely like leave a game at that point. Where is this guy at? Is he right around this corner still? No, he tried to flank me. I'm going to die because that- Oh my god! That makes me rage. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Nick. Calm down. Breathe. You're 7 and 10. You're doing terrible. Oh, uh, God. This is, like I said, this is going to be a hey, learning experience for me as, as a game goes. And, I mean, if this is, if this game's... What? See, I should not have lost that. I don't, like, okay, I'm watching this. What does this guy do? He shoots me in the face, but the fact is these guns are so random... Going for a headshot seems like it would be, like right here. I went for a, I went for a headshot right there, and I missed more bullets than I connected. Like it isn't precise enough to go for headshots, but yet headshots matter. Seem like they matter a ton. It's like it wants to be Halo and it wants to be COD all at the same time. That fucking mixture doesn't work, or it would have already been done way before Crisis 2 came out. God, Rage Mode done. I remember when people used to say this was gonna be the COD killer. That's funny. It's just like people say Battlefield's a COD killer. Let's be honest. There's nothing that's truly going to be a COD killer. Even Halo 4, as bad as I would actually kind of like it to be the COD killer, won't be. And the simple reason for that is because um, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. People are going to, you know, love that game no matter what. Just like I love Halo. I'm going to love that game no matter what. As long as they keep making them, I'm going to keep playing them because I like the series. So no matter what, people are going to have Call of Duty. And it's gotten so big now that... You know, it's going to have around 200,000 people on it no matter what. But Activision, wouldn't surprise me if they cut sales. It wouldn't surprise me if Activision cut sales. Um, if, if they didn't sell over a billion a billion copies of the game, it wouldn't surprise... Or a million, at least, like, five, five million copies of the game. I don't think they would, they would completely cut sales of the game. Because that's all they're in it for. They don't even care about the community of Call of Duty. How we won, somehow. But they don't even care about the community of Call of Duty. What they care about is the money of Call of Duty, and I understand that. I think they leave it up to the companies that, wow, see, that guy went 20, 26 and 6 and carried our team. That's why we won, not the fact that I went 10 and 13. That is, that's complete bullshit. But really, though, I think they leave it up to the, to the, the developer track in Infinity Ward. But, um, yeah, so, that, that's that. And I understand that, and they're, they're a publishing company, all they care about is the money, they don't care about the game itself. As long as the game sells, they'll keep publishing it, and they'll keep wanting to make it and funding them, so, yeah.